Hi, I'm Monique Villain, and I run the Thomson Reuters Foundation. Trust law has shown very distinctly that uh, pro bono is growing worldwide. So trust law is for a big part in that, so I'm very proud of it. But um, we have now more than 2,600 NGOs and social enterprise members of trust law in 175 countries. I decided to create trust law to spread the practice worldwide, and today, we have uh, more than 600 law firms, members of Trust Law, that is millions of lawyers, uh, working for free for NGOs and social enterprise that we vet. All this show that the dedication of uh, lawyers to give their brain instead of giving a check, you know, a banker give a check, a lawyer give his brain and his time to people that need that brain to, 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 do, to make their organization more efficient. So the, the, the growth in pro bono hours is something important, and the influence and the impact that it has on the best NGOs and the best social enterprise in the world is also extremely important because this is, these are the, the organizations that really do the social progress. General Electric has 1,200 lawyers around the world. So it's an army of lawyers. And as soon as Trust Law was created, they thought, this is fantastic for us because we never knew how to do pro bono for our lawyers in Poland or in Cambodia. So many, many uh, big uh, corporations have, are members of Trust Law. So the biggest banks, uh, HSBC, Goldman Sachs, uh, Barclays, I mean, you can name them, are members of Trust Law, Vodafone, and many, many other corporations. And so the beauty of the Thomson Reuters Foundation today is that it has put at the service of the, 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 the people we need it most in the world, tools that are extremely powerful and help them uh, empower themselves and have impact. Trust law has grown massively uh, since six years and I don't see any reason why it would stop. So it's a growth story and it will go on being a growth story. And for me, the only question is sustainability and maintaining the integrity and the very high quality of the service.